Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here. And today I'm back with my good buddies at Streetside Classics in Tampa, Florida. This is one of my favorite places to come and film. And I've actually got a video for you today on a car that I've been trying to review for you for a really long time. I've just kind of been waiting for the right car to show up. Well, today the right car has showed up. It is the absolutely perfect example of this car. It's a little bit of a throwback, but it should be a ton of fun. And a lot of you folks at home may be able to relate to this particular car. So it should be a pretty cool little video. If you guys are brand new to my channel, please do me a big gigantic favor. Hit that subscribe button right over here in the corner. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when my new content's coming out. And off we go. Here is one little example of why I really enjoy coming to this dealership. Check out this old school 1967 GT350. About mint condition on this. I mean, as with most of their cars, they're all basically in mint condition. But take a quick look at this, and they've got an entire massive showroom outside with cars just like this. So let's head outside. And there is the car that I wanted to show you today. That is a 1993 Gen 3 Fox body Mustang. This thing is just about mint condition, only 20 something thousand miles on it. And uh, just a really good example of what the uh, Gen 3 Mustang should really look like. So let's talk about why this car is special. Now, everything on this particular car is bone stock and just about perfect. I wanna just give you a little bit of a walk around on this. You can see very square front end. You do have the fog lights down below, kind of very iconic, you know, 1980s Mustang in the front, uh, just kind of that square look to it. And of course, as we jump around here to the side, there you see those wheels, very indicative of the time period back, like in basically the entire 80s era. You got wheels like that on a lot of cars, but I wanna kind of step back here give you a look I mean this thing absolutely screams Fox body Mustang when you look at it from the side and uh, just a really unique looking car once again Mustang GT right here this is a five liter Ford it's been doing this five liter thing for a really long time and uh, we step back here, check out the rear of this car. This is one of the most distinctive features of this particular car. You can see Mustang GT right there, but kind of the way that spoiler comes into the body and the lines on this car. I mean, it's just a really good looking iconic car from that particular time period. And they sold a whole bunch of these. One other cool little feature about the body of this car, I didn't want to gloss over it, but uh, it kind of has these little pass-throughs, both here in the front, and as you go towards the back, you can see, once again, you've got that little pass-through, kind of a nice little thing that they did to the bottom of the car as well. So why is this car relevant? Well, I will tell you. First of all, Ford sold 2.6 million of these things between 1979 and 1993. So the Fox Body Mustang, the longest run of Mustang Ford ever made. Matter of fact, it's the longest run of any car body style that they ever made. That's how successful this was. Think about that, 2.6 million. So if you are from that era, I know we've got a lot of folks watching that are a lot younger that don't necessarily remember these, but obviously I grew up in the 80s. I remember these things were literally everywhere. And of course they had different trim levels We'll talk about that, but just one of the most successful cars that Ford ever built. This was back in the heyday of when Ford was cranking these things out, selling these things like crazy. You saw Mustangs literally everywhere. And uh, the Fox body to this day still holds a special place uh, in a lot of enthusiasts' heart. Now here is the power plant on the 1993 Fox Body Mustang GT. Yes, five liters of American muscle. Now, I realize when you compare these numbers to today's cars, yes, it definitely pales in comparison. As to be expected, this car is once again, 30 years old. But uh, basically 205 horsepower is what you get on this, 275 pound-feet of torque. So certainly more torque than horsepower in this. You either get a four-speed auto or a five-speed manual in this. This thing also came in a 2.3 uh, liter, four cylinder. It was like 100 horsepower. Matter of fact, I think it may even be less than that. So it was basically a big gigantic turd uh, in the four cylinder. But this is a very light car. 3,100 pounds is what this car weighs. So uh, that is part of the reason that this is still so popular today with a lot of the uh, race car guys out there. Go to any track across America. Uh, even today, you're still going to see a lot of these Fox Body 
Mustangs. They were easy to work on. Like I said, they were everywhere, very light, and just makes a really good race platform. So uh, something to be said for that. Now jumping to the inside of the car, you do get power windows and power door locks on this. Kind of have this little pouch here on the door. Very analog as you would expect. Like I said, 1993 is uh, when this car uh, was actually made. But look at the seats in this car. I mean, yes, I realize they're cloth, all that good stuff. But I mean, they are just about perfect. It almost looks like this thing just rolled off the assembly line. There is your five-speed manual like I spoke about before. You do get a cassette player right there in the middle with a couple other uh, buttons there on your stereo. Of course, your climate control here in the middle. Distinctly Mustang here, so you can kind of see the sweeping lines on the dash up there. And uh, a really nice place to sit. These seats are actually quite comfortable. You do get a back seat in this. They're about the same size as the current Mustang, actually. And uh, quite comfortable back here. Man, these seats are in perfect shape for a 30-year-old car. I just can't get over that, guys. Really nice specimen, of course. You do get a little bit of storage here in the middle. There is your parking brake and a, uh, a pretty nice interior on this Mustang. Of course, this car is a hatchback. I went ahead and popped this so you can kind of get a look at the cargo area. And you've got just a little bit of space back here. Certainly, you could put some golf clubs or something back here, a suitcase. It does have a cargo net in the back of this particular car. You've got this little joker right here as well if you want to kind of like roll it out and hide whatever's in here to keep people from being able to see it. And then, of course, your seats right here. Those do fold down as well for additional storage in the back of this. So it's definitely a usable space in the back of the Gen 3 Mustang. Here's a quick look at the seating position in the 1993 Mustang GT, and it is a pretty comfortable place to sit. I've got a fair amount of headroom in this. Uh, your window and door controls are basically right there where you would expect them to be. Analog gauges, which basically everything from this time period have, so you kind of have to expect that. But you've got your horns as little buttons right here, kind of different. And you've got, of course, your, uh, your hazard lights, your defrost right up here on that side. Of course, your high beams, things like that. Right here in the center section, your climate controls, your radio controls controls five-speed manual like I mentioned before and uh, of course there is your e-brake you're sitting fairly close to your passenger but there is a little bit of room and there's actually a surprising amount of room uh, headroom in this car and of course yes it is distinctly Mustang you can actually sit some stuff up here they designed it that way and of course your vents and climate control like I said it all kind of ties in here to the middle and as we jump around to the back you can see a uh, relatively small back seat but it is certainly usable so you could put some kids back there as well but a, uh, a nice little place to sit it really does feel like you're sitting in a piece of history when you sit in this car and just how many other people out there have the same exact feeling sitting in one of these Mustangs. And I realize when you look at the numbers, as I mentioned before, um, they're not real impressive, right? I mean, it's like zero to 60 on this car is like 7.1 seconds. And I realize they did have a Cobra version of this as well um, that was a little bit faster, but not a whole lot. I mean, the quarter mile time on this thing is like mid 15s, right? By today's standards, unbelievably slow but there is something special about driving a Fox body Mustang they're just they're fun to drive I've driven them before kind of looking forward to taking this one down the road and uh, seeing how it drives so for all intents and purposes I shouldn't like this car at all I mean it it's very analog on the inside there's basically no technology built into it at all other than the fact that it actually has auto windows so I don't have to crank them up but um, I kind of like driving the car for whatever reason. You do feel connected to the car. With modern day cars, there's so much technology built into them. There's so much going on that the car almost drives you. This kind of car, I mean, you're in it, you feel the car doing all the mechanical things that it does. Um, like I said, very analog feel when you drive it, but there's something satisfying about this and I, I can't put my finger on it. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, second gear, Jeez, this thing feels way faster than it should for 205 horsepower. There's no way that 205 horsepower should feel this quick. Um, car is surprisingly quick for some reason, but then you have to remember, this thing weighs just a shade over 3,000 pounds. It is very light. As I mentioned, this is why so many race car guys like this particular platform, and you feel it when you drive it. Even with the stock engine in it, um, it doesn't feel like it's working all that hard to get me down the road. Driving around in this car, I want so badly to grow a mullet and a mustache. It's not even funny. But I, I, I don't know what it is about this car. It still makes me smile when I drive it. This car looks so good. I don't know, I mean, they just did such a good job with the design of this car. Not everybody likes it, but I like it. And uh, like I said, it's still making me happy driving it. 
even after 30 years. <laughs> Good stuff, man. All right, little V8, let's see what you got, baby. <laughs> this, this car does not feel slow. You know, I drove the NSX not too long ago, and I kind of said the same thing about that car. The power numbers seem really down compared to today's standards, but I still had so much fun driving the car. And just to think, I mean, they made very few NSXs. Very few people had the privilege of driving that car. This car was just a piece of American history. I mean, everybody had one of these. And uh, man, Ford did such a good job with it. I would love to have this car for the whole day and just rock the crap out of it. I would stick me some Motley Crue or some Metallica down in this cassette player right here <laughs> and just get after it. So uh, yeah, it's taken me back to uh, a day a really long time ago. Many of you guys weren't born yet. Not that old guys, but um, I can still appreciate something like this. So I guess I better go give Streetside their, uh, their beautiful Mustang back. And uh, not that I want to, but I uh, guess we better call it. Well, and that about does it for my review of the 1993 Gen 3 Mustang GT, the Fox body. What an iconic car. It still looks good. It still puts a big smile on your face and it's still relevant after all these years. 30 years is when they made the last of these cars and it still is a pretty impressive vehicle. Like I said, 2.6 million of these they sold and uh, you still see them on the road today once in a while. Not as perfect as this, but they are still out there typically. So let me know what you guys think about the, uh, the 1993 Fox body in the comments down below and I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.